My character's name is Jess Carr. That's the that's the last name <laughs> that's in the script. Um, and she is a gal who is working at Fox News and is a closet liberal and closet gay woman as well. Um, because according to first-hand accounts, it's not, you wouldn't want to be open about being either one of those at Fox News. And so she um, has this job and is great at it, um, but has to sort of um, watch herself and stay under the radar with those two facts about herself. And there's a tension there. Kayla comes to town, was played by Margot Robbie, heard of her, and she um, is new at the show and um, just sort of takes her under her wing, tells her, gives her the lay of the land of what she needs to know about working at that particular show and about the ethos of um, Fox in general as she sees it. And um, they develop a friendship um, and that I think is based on uh, humor, which is so refreshing for what, how heavy the subject matter is. There's a lot of humor in the script, not just in their relationship, but in everyone's got, um, there's humor peppered throughout every scene, and which is one of my favorite things about it. Well, that's just it. I mean, Jay Roach has, <laughs> has, uh, has straddled two worlds so magnificently, and this is the, perfect synthesis of that and what a what a tender-hearted brilliant amazing person and I, I oh my gosh I feel so lucky to have he helped me so much and he was so thoughtful with every single decision and talking out everyone's mental state in every second of the whole thing and I, I just had such an incredible experience working with him. Marco Robbie, God, is so, so smart and um, I learned so much just from watching her talk to Jay about the scene and what went on before and what's going on afterward and in the scope of the whole thing. Um, she's really a brilliant actor and um, knows so much about movies and it was quite intimidating but also extremely kind and sweet and I think that the the sweetness that she brings to the role of Kayla is just freaking devastating <sighs> I think the I think the real thesis of the story is that if you're going to speak up about harassment, you have to really risk everything. Your job, your personal safety, um, the respect of your colleagues, the um, your colleagues looking you in the eye, and um, to break with an organization that is has a rigid set of standards is a real act of courage.